Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have we got Danny Lee and the baby calling it quits. Fans catch little baby out there. Casting over, catching heat in the cage. Boosie in tears and a queen bee hitting folks with ice. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit us with that thumbs up. If you're feeling any part of the content, man, we definitely appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed already, man, what you waiting for, man? That button ain't gonna touch itself. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yo, hit the notification bell so you can be first in line when we drop this insanity hey yo abdullah hardy came through and said the following my man said little dirk got that innocent little boy face when he 40 he gonna look 18 but that kid is nothing to play with i heard stories about him so he ain't scared unless he's scared about what would happen to you you see what i'm saying hey yo man i feel that you know what i mean like real recognize real okay don't go near that guy all right, there's something about the dude. Like, there's a lot of history and story with that guy. You see what I'm saying? A lot of his close, close partners, he lost. Now, we can't, I don't even know, like, there's a lot that goes on around this cat. You see what I'm saying? So, with some people, they done seen some things, they done known some things, and how, I mean, I couldn't imagine how this man feel, even sitting in a passenger side next to someone that did a song back in the day called i remember you know what i'm saying with quando rondo you know what i mean like so i couldn't imagine the thoughts that's going on through this dude's head like yo am i you know what i'm saying not to say that little baby would do anything like that you know what i mean but i mean with everything that he's seen you can never be too certain and the first on deck ladies are you single <laughs> Do you need a Valentine's You need a little Valentine's Day love Particularly some chocolate flavored love <laughs> Well it pains me to report Right <laughs> That your boy Celeb Will not be able to fulfill Your desires and your wishes For moving chocolate on Valentine's Day But perhaps You can luck up and link up With your boy The baby Your boy posted Quote This TikTok is a masterpiece at India Love. Then he followed that message up with another message that said, morning, best reenactment of this TikTok gets flown out for a date with baby on Valentine's Day, close quote. Now, the baby said that he'll be choosing a winner on the 12th of February. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, what about Miss uh, Yellowbone? Y y y yeah, what about her? Shorty posted on IG, quote, officially single close quote along with the black heart emoji on her ig story i know fellas is like yo what's the deets on getting flown out for a date with her bruh bruh <laughs> the what you let the what you call it breathe a little bit okay now the two unfollowed each other and she is now posting what is it thirst trap images of herself with, with, with the statement your new wallpaper so apparently, before you say it in the comment section, Yellow Bone is not. L let me keep it pushing. Let me keep it pushing. Little baby had a nice cozy spot in Tampa, right? But of course, when you're one of the hottest artists out, there is no hiding, even in the suburbs. Who you think is buying all the music, man? These suburban kids are up in their bedrooms, ninja this, ninja that, hat tilted to the side, I got the ride, all up in the mirror, you know what I'm saying? And you know this. My man was staying in an Airbnb in Tampa, right? When he came outside to a mob of teenagers, the most dangerous kinds, in their natural habitat. They surrounded his mode of transportation and walked a bit too close for my comfort. Yo, take a look. Come outside to a whole mob. Uh... Correct you are, sir. You cannot bring your behind back there no more. In my opinion, that was way too close a call, man. Look, I'm paranoid and I'm broke. I couldn't imagine, you know what I'm saying? Having a couple of M's. Now, I'm not sure if you heard about this, right? But your boy Casanova participated in a TikTok challenge called the Junebug Challenge. But 
the officials at the Westchester County Jail damn near chased him down with batons in hand because participating in such a challenge could be detrimental to someone's safety. I said damn near chased him, okay? Okay, look, it's not literal, but they, they might as well have done it, right? The authorities at the jail were absolutely furious. The man was on a video, uh, he was on a video visit with a woman. Wait, isn't he married? Look, I, 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 it must have been a family member. Anyway, he was on a video visit when he decided to participate in the challenge, which asks folks to perform the challenge in the strangest location possible. Now, Shorty then posted the video of his performing the June Bug on social media, but recording during jail virtual visits is prohibited. But officer, he, he didn't record it. Uh, it sounds like the lady recorded it. I mean, did he record it? Look, it was a virtual visit, right? So he could have done the dance during the visit and the lady recorded the dance that he was doing. They, they were also saying, right? He violated jail protocol by not wearing a mask during the virtual call. Because, you know, heaven forbid someone catch the Rona through the virtual visit. Now, in case you forgot why your boy is there in the first place, him and 17 other members of the untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation have been charged with racketeering, murder, narcotics, firearms, and fraud, and are currently awaiting trial. Which reminds me, right? DJ Vlad was interviewing Boosie and Hey, hey, look, we, we put you on so you don't have to, you, you, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? That, I mean, like, that's how you stay in the know. Follow me? Anyway, Boosie was being interviewed by Vlad and began to speak about how he had to switch up his style and do performances from his wheelchair. <laughs> look, you took off of work because you watched a football game and had one too many wings. You sacrificed a bag for a wing and two extra hours of sleep. Incredible. Anyway, Lil Boosie stated, quote, I think I'm an adrenaline junkie. Boosie, I, I think you mean money junkie, right? Like he said, I think I'm an adrenaline money junkie or something like that. Ninja called me with a few hundred thousand for a Friday and Saturday. It's hard to tell me, no, I'm a gutter boy. You can't flash no hundred thousand at me and I ain't gonna take it. If I ain't dying on the ground, I'm gonna get that hundred thousand hurting and everything. Close quote. Yo, I feel you, bro, right? But your health. <laughs> Bo Boosie rolling over my toes with his wheelchair like, man, F my health. Oh, okay, okay. Now he continued on and said, quote, my first two shows, I was hurting, Vlad. Went back to the bus, damn near had tears in my eyes. I was hurting. Taking all these pain pills, I was effed up. But I smiled when that mother effing back end came in. I was hurting. I was hurting. I got back on the tour bus, my leg up. It ain't nothing but an hour and 45 minutes of pain. Close quote. Damn. Yo, my man got hustle, man. See, look, in a way, right? I'm kind of glad he ain't sitting at a desk job somewhere where the system will take full advantage of his hustle. Then give him a measly nine to five, you know what I'm saying, pay. Like it kills me, right? Folks are teaching your children to read and society is like, yeah, here two dollars, a half eaten chicken wing and four fries. Make it work, then get your punk ass back in the classroom and teach these kids. Hell no, you ain't getting no vaccine or extra pay. Put, put your hands down. Anyway, my bad, I, I'll be going all the way in. And look, Vlad told Boosie that, yo man, you don't need the money, right? But Boosie affirmed the hustle is in his blood. That's what's up. And finally, ho ho hold on for it. Just give me one second, all right? Let me, let me check something out real quick. Okay. Nah, 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 look. Your boy Celeb just had to look out the window to see if any packages are at my door because apparently Beyonce is gifting ninjas Icy Park shoes encased in ice. Queen B, look. What we do benefits the culture. I, I don't see how you missed us. Her not gifting us is her not gifting you. <laughs> you like celeb. I am outraged. Me too, right? Look, check this out. Ivy Park collection tends to sell out in minutes, right? But some of her favorite peoples apparently got a special delivery. Wait, well, hold on. Let me, they go to Amazon truck. Let me see if, oh no, it passed, it passed. Look, look, you know what I'm saying? I gotta check one more again, okay? Still not here though. Anyway, Beyonce sent Ivy Park Adidas to Gucci Mane, who modeled the joints and responded by saying, quote, wow, at Beyonce and uh, Ivy Park, sent me some shoes in an ice sculpture. New Icy Park Adidas, thanks. 
Now, Lil Yachty also shared a video of his delivery. Yo, take a look. Go. Beyonce is excited to gift you this pair of icy shoes from the Adidas <laughs> Ivy Park newest drop, Icy Park. Yeah. Enjoy your drip. Yeah, y'all ain't got this shit, man. Yeah, man. White people bringing me shit from Beyonce. <laughs> Are you Beyonce? Wow, I'm special. Oh shit, I'm special. <laughs> hey yo, this ninja dropped the joint, man. I mean, see, look, I wouldn't have even dropped it. My silly behind would have been trying to stuff it in my freezer. The frozen ground beef would be sitting on top of that joint. My peoples would start yelling at me like, yo, we can't eat it. It's got to come out. And I'd be like, yo, just put the meat in the sink and let the whole joint thaw out, but don't you touch my Ivy Park Adidas. You see what I'm saying? And of course, Cash Page showed off her joint to Beyonce. Look, I think the delivery people got your boy celeb. So if you could resend it to us and let us know it's in the mail, we would greatly appreciate it. Contact us at celebsource1 at gmail.com. And we thank you, Queen B, in advance. You'll let us know what you think. Is your Ivy Park Adidas in the mail too? What do you think on that? Right? Uh, Danny Lee and the baby. Did you see this coming? Do you think it's a publicity stunt? Like they're acting like that. You know what I'm saying? Just to get people, you know, just get the buzz going on that because they see, they have like an off and on thing. It seems like okay. Uh, fans catching little baby out there. Where could he go? Where he won't get this kind of? I, I feel like he's got to go all the way to where Kanye is in Wyoming or something crazy like that. And do you have the same kind of hustle that Boosie has? Matter of fact, what job requires a crazy, insane amount of hustle? You'll let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.